Hi everyone, in this problem we want to divide these decimals. So we're going to do it by first writing the numerator and denominator in scientific notation. Let's go through it very carefully. So we'll start with the numerator. I'm going to write it up here on the top left. So 0 0.00052. And the goal is to write this in scientific notation in a way that will let us simplify. So I'm thinking it would be really nice if we had a 52 upstairs and a 13 downstairs because 52 over 13 is 4. So let's take this decimal and let's move it over to the end. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we moved it 5 positions. So that would be the same as saying 52 times 10 to the negative 5. Let's think about that. So negative 5 would mean that we put a decimal here and we go 5 to the left. That would give us what we started with. So this would work and give us this. If you think about it backwards, you would get this. So this is 52 times 10 to the negative 5. If you're not convinced, you can check yourself. Right? You write the 52. Here's the decimal at the end, and you go five places to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. And then watch this. You put zeros here, and you have 0 0.00052. Oh, look at that. It's exactly what we have up top, right? So no issues. Let's do the bottom piece now. I'll come over here on the right and do it. So 0 0.013. So we want the decimal at the end here. So we want one, two, three. So that'll be 13, 10 to the negative 3, right? Because you want to go back to the decimal. You might say, oh, you went to the right. It should be positive. No, we, we want to go, go backwards. So if we use this, we'll get this. And you can check it. If you have 13 times 10 to the negative 3, that means you take the 13, which is 13.0, and you go three places to the left. 1, 2, 3, and then you put your 0, and that gives you 0 0.013. So that checks with what's on the bottom, so this is in fact correct. So now we'll end up with 13, whoops, 13 times 10 to the negative 3. And now 52 over 13, that's 4. And then here what you can do is you just subtract the exponents because the bases are the same. So we have 10, and it'll be negative 5 minus negative 3. That's the rule for exponents you subtract. So this is 4 times 10. And then it's really negative 5 plus 3, so it's negative 2. So this is really 4 times 1 over 10 squared, which is really 4 over 100, which is really simply 0 0.04. So that would be the result. So kind of a nice problem. Uh, it lets you divide fractions, uh, divide decimals rather, using um, scientific notation. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there who is uh, working on this stuff. Good luck.